You know those people who tell a story or recount a movie they've seen or a book they've read and give every excruciating detail that you don't care about and seem to have little to no bearing on the point of the story? I used to be guilty of that at one point in my life. My friends would be like, what's the point? Here I thought I was drawing them into the experience and was recounting. Instead, they were bored to tears and desperate for the punchline or outcome. The same can happen at work. You're presenting project findings and want your audience to appreciate the lengths you went to to gather and synthesize the information and drag them through that 100-page PowerPoint deck that you spent all weekend preparing. You are missing a critical skill in knowing how to distinguish between information and knowledge. Let's get clear on the difference between the two and understand why it is so important that leaders master the art of transforming complex information into digestible and actionable knowledge. Hi, I'm Jenny Clark, a conscious leadership expert who spent two decades in executive recruiting and talent management. Having worked with giants like Google, Spencer Stewart, I discovered that the secret to transformative leadership lies in the five dimensions of conscious leadership. And I'm here to help you unlock your full potential. Join me on this channel as we embark on an honest and vulnerable journey together to become the kind of leader that genuinely inspires organizational transformation. I have a few ways you can get involved in this conscious community. First, I've created a free career map to help you uncover your next career move. Second, I've created exclusive content for you with a community of like-minded leaders. And lastly, I send out a free newsletter every week. To learn more, check out the description of this video. I sat in a meeting where I was being briefed on what my client thought I needed to know before delivering a keynote speech. I was looking for high-level descriptions of the audience, recent events that had necessitated the gathering, any key data recently gathered that would represent a collective state of mind, that kind of thing. Instead, I got too much detail on things and people I didn't need or want to hear about. The person was in the weeds, wanting to share every detail. I appreciated the trust and intention, but this person seemed to lack an awareness of my relationship to this information. One time speaking engagement, not a consulting engagement. And he probably thought he was impressing me with his knowledge or at least access to information. Remember, data and information aren't the same as knowledge. I found that the more senior you are, the more you should have learned to distill and synthesize information, not just data. Distilling or synthesizing information into actionable knowledge is a critical skill for leaders aiming to demonstrate expertise and make informed decisions. Here are key considerations and strategies to handle this process effectively, along with common pitfalls and how to avoid them. Number one, understand the audience. Leaders must tailor the synthesized information to the understanding and needs of their audience. Knowing what the audience already understands, what they need to know, and how they best process information is crucial. Do try to take into consideration the seniority of the audience. It is typically more important to get to the bottom line more quickly with a more senior audience. They tend to want the high level details. More junior audiences might appreciate hearing more context. Number two, clarify purpose. Define what the purpose of distilling the information is. Are you informing a decision, educating a team, or developing a strategy? The purpose will guide how you process and present the information. Number three, select relevant information. Not all information is useful. You gotta be able to identify and focus on the information that is most relevant to the goals and needs of the organization. Number four, use appropriate frameworks. Applying analytical frameworks can help in organizing and interpreting data effectively whether it's a SWOT analysis, a risk assessment, or a business model, choose frameworks that align with the objectives. Now here's some common pitfalls and how to avoid them. Number one, information overload. Collecting too much information can lead to confusion and decision paralysis. The fix, focus on quality over quantity. Prioritize information based on relevance and reliability and use filters and criteria to narrow down what truly matters. Confirmation bias, where you're selecting information that confirms pre-existing beliefs or hypotheses 
that can skew the understanding and the decisions. The solution? Actively seek out contradictory information and alternative viewpoints and engage with those who might have differing perspectives to challenge and refine your understanding. Misinterpretation of data. This is when you incorrectly are analyzing or interpreting data that can lead to flawed conclusions. How do you fix it? Ensure you and your team have the appropriate skills to analyze the data correctly. Consider external consultations when necessary and always double check interpretations and underlying assumptions. Number four, poor communication. Even well synthesized knowledge can be ineffective if poorly communicated. The solution is by developing clear, concise, and compelling communication strategies using visual aids and simplify complex information where possible. Tailor the delivery to the comprehension level and interests of your audience. Number five is an over-reliance on past data. Relying too heavily on historical data may not be predictive of future conditions, especially in fast-changing industries. The solution is to balance historical data with current trends and forward-looking insights. Stay updated with the latest developments in your field and consider scenario and forecasting methods. Here's what I want you to take away. To effectively demonstrate your domain knowledge or expertise through synthesized information, make sure that the process is transparent and the sources are credible. Provide context as to why certain information is prioritized and always link back to the strategic objectives of the initiative or organization. Regularly update and revise your knowledge base as new information becomes available. Leaders who master the art of transforming complex information into digestible and actionable knowledge are more likely to inspire confidence, drive better decision-making, and foster a learning culture within their organizations. In the words of Albert Einstein, information alone cannot accomplish goals. Information is not valuable until transformed into knowledge that can be used to achieve an objective. I know firsthand how taking that first step can be the catalyst for a life-changing transformation. I remember the moment I decided to harness my own strengths and it made all the difference in my career. That's why I've created a career mapping tool just for you to help you uncover your unique competencies and leverage them to design your own career map. Take the first step towards your next level by clicking the link in the video description. And let's start this incredible journey together. <laughs>